My dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum jami'an wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As we commemorate the martyrdom of Al Imam al Sajjad, let us consider what he reminded us of the importance of a teacher and what it means to consider the position of those who instruct and train us. All of our Imams have taught us the importance of learning and, in fact, the legacy of passing on what we know in terms of knowledge, not just the knowledge of our religion and in its practice and the tenets of our belief, because indeed those are what are ingrained in us and are transferred from generation to generation, but also those aspects of life that are beneficial, that improve our state, that improve the world around us and the communities in which we live. As such, these things are so relevant to us because anything may be passed on in generation, but it is only those things that are beneficial that will continue to act as something positive as the years and the centuries go by. Thus, if it is beneficial to me, in my society, in my time, then it is worthwhile to pass it on because then the next generation, my children, my children's children, will be able to use those same things, those same benefits to improve the world around them in their time, and on and on. Hence, it's an undying legacy. It's an undying means of keeping the world good and spreading benefit and goodness to others around us. This is the legacy of the Ahl al-Bayt. And today, as we remember, particularly the sacrifice of Imam al Hussein, and witness the millions of people who are coming upon Karbala on the day of Arba'een, we see that it is the upholding of lofty values and its passing, its teaching in generation that is the culmination of what we see today, the millions who are arriving into Karbala. That's why, on the occasion of commemorating the martyrdom of Al Imam al Sajjad, alayhi salatu was salam, let us consider what he has said about the rights of the teacher and how important the position of a teacher is to us. Al Imam al Sajjad, alayhi salatu was salam, he describes the teacher as the one who is training us and that we should always venerate our teachers. And when we sit with them in their company, when we come to our classes and they are teaching us, imparting their knowledge upon us, that we must respect them, respect their time, respect the fact that they are giving to us something that is so valuable that we would not be able to thank them enough uh, in return for what they have given to us. And we must be responsive to them. And we must ensure that we, when we come, Al Imam al Sajjad stresses this point, that when we come to our classes, that we are responsive to them in such a way that it helps us learn from them. We must come prepared, our minds open, ready to acquire from them what they are going to teach us, not half asleep, not um, daydreaming and thinking about other things, but focused on the material, the knowledge that they are about to give to us. We must do so freeing our minds, as Imam al-Sajjad mentions in Risalat al-Hukuq, in the Treatise of Rights, specifically on the rights of the teacher, saying that we should purify our hearts and we should fix our eyes by abandoning thoughts of everything else, so that when they are teaching us, we are absorbed in the instruction. We are taking in everything they are giving to us. Such is the importance of acquiring those valuable things that we will take, now, Al Imam al Sajjad also stresses that once we have acquired that knowledge, that when we go out into the world and we meet those who do not know what we have now acquired of knowledge, that it becomes incumbent upon us to pass on, to share, and to spread that beautiful legacy of the Ahl al Bayt, alayhim as salatu was salam, and in fact any teacher who has taught us anything that we know. Why? Because then it spreads the goodness and we then have fulfilled the right that is upon us from the knowledge that was given to us. That is an important thing to consider. When we acquire knowledge, it is not just for our own use or that it falls into a safety bo deposit box somewhere inside of us, but rather that it creates a responsibility on us to share it with others and that we must fulfill the rights of others on us to share that information, that knowledge, that benefit, that goodness for any and all times that we encounter in our lives. With this, let us consider the importance of our teachers and let us become teachers ourselves to those who can learn from us with humility, with modesty, and always adhering to the path of Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. With this, I wish you well. 
والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته